Malaysian cops heard about a freakish creature on the loose and this is what they discovered Was it a natural born mutant or the unearthly creation of genetic engineers or was it something else entirely? In October 2017 startling images of a bizarre and apparently never before seen animal emerged on the internet in Malaysia Prompting police to launch an investigation in fact Malaysia is notorious as a hub for wildlife trafficking Endangered species exotic pets and illegal animal products frequently pass through the country to other destinations in Asia in July of 2017 for example officials seized nearly a million dollars in ivory tusks and pangolin scales at Kuala Lumpur Airport on one single weekend as well as a booming trade in contraband wildlife the country suffers from a lack of institutional transparency there's no federal Freedom of Information Act in Malaysia and any document can be classified as an official secret it was therefore paramount that Malaysian police expose the truth concerning the animal and make it public Because according to information circulated on social media the animal was being held in a secret laboratory at an undisclosed location in the state of Pahang a region encompassing the heartland of Malay Peninsula and Disturbingly its appearance was unlike anything known to science No larger than a hand the creature appeared to be some sort of tiny newborn blind and vulnerable its skin was pale and wrinkled with a few wisps of black hair on its head it had a tail claws and fangs however its face was distinctly human its capturing public attention may be partly explained by the legacy of traditional Malay folklore much of which actually originated in Pahang an area corresponding to an ancient polity known as the old Pahang kingdom in fact Malay folklore offers a wealth of stories concerning a wide variety of magical creatures and supernatural beings Indeed Malay folklore is so rich and complex that it embodies several different traditions of oral and written storytelling There are for example bardic tales recalling hero journeys and animal fables that serve as morality tales much like Aesop's fables There are also ghost stories epics and fairy tales Known as Kisa Donjeng Malay fairy tales describe a plethora of weird creatures called orange Hollis soft folk or refined folk they include ogres, mermaids, dwarf-like entities, birds made of fire and water, dragons and giant crabs, but the creature photographed in Pahang was apparently some sort of lycanthrope. Lycanthropy is the ability to transform from a human into an animal. In Malay folklore, there are several types of lycanthropic entities. They include Ular Tudung Jadane, a human who can transform into a cobra, Lembu Jadane, who can transform into a bull, Haramau Jadane who can transform into a tiger in other words a were cat or a were tiger But unlike werewolves of European lore Haramau Jadane is not considered a threat unless hungry or driven to revenge Its power is believed to be inherited or to come from magical spells According to myths the Haramau Jadane only appears at night and then to protect plantations from wild animals Of course feline shapeshifters are not unique to Malay culture African legends abound with where lions and where panthers where jaguars played a central role in the Mesoamerican cultures of ancient Mexico and Central America and more broadly modern psychiatry acknowledges the phenomenon of lycanthropy as a rare and understudied psychological disorder in fact according to diagnostic criteria clinical lycanthropy is said to be a culturally bound manifestation of schizophrenia Symptoms include hallucinations of turning into an animal disorganized speech and animal like behavior and noises However, the Pahang werecat was clearly not a hallucination. So what was it? Hypertrichosis also known as Ambrose syndrome is a disease traditionally associated with lycanthropy In fact, its primary symptom is abnormal and excessive hair growth as such in the 19th and 20th centuries freak shows often enlisted sufferers of hypertrichosis However, the animal supposedly photographed in Malaysia had very little hair and it also had claws and a tail Indeed could the creature be a product of genetic engineering? This would certainly explain the claim that it was being held in a lab Indeed in 2011 genetic engineers successfully created three glow-in-the-dark kittens to research AIDS and if they can do that why not also forge a cat human hybrid? However, the creature was not some sort of man-made abomination either after images of it went viral on social media police investigators did some digging
they got to the truth of the matter and what they discovered put an end to all wild speculation on the internet Checks revealed the images were downloaded from the internet before it was shared on social media Claiming that the discovery was made in Pahang said police chief Datuk Rosli Abdul Rahman I hope the public will stop circulating news about the alleged discovery So then it was official the Pahang Werecat was just fake news in fact the creature was just a doll made of silicon probably sold online believe it or not there's a market for infant lycanthropes for example special effects artist Asia Erickson who did not make the Pahang werecat creates bespoke wear pups which according to her website evoke a range of intense emotions from pure disgust to complete adoration intended for adults to collect she makes her wear pups by hand with an emphasis on realism the artist is committed to giving werewolves a natural and scientific appearance states Erickson's company website as well as a realistic feel that will allow their owners to come as close as possible to holding an actual werewolf baby indeed Erickson's creations are wonderfully believable if disturbingly grotesque when people ask if were pups are real it's incredibly rewarding she says just to think that if only for a moment I somehow made somebody believe in an impossible creature Meanwhile, who created the Pahang werecat hardly matters. It's intriguing enough that a silicon doll of a mythical creature can spark a police investigation. Of course, die-hard conspiracy theorists won't believe them when they say the whole thing is a hoax. And in some sense, who can blame them? Please do not forget to share this video with your friends below.